It's another edition of the Trading Tips video newsletter, teaching you how to become a successful trader today. This video newsletter is brought to you by ConsensusPicks.com. Welcome to this edition of the TradingTips.com video newsletter. In this episode, we'll be exploring the low risk anomaly. What is that? Keep watching and you'll find out. Generally, it's understood that higher risk brings with it the chance of higher returns. However, there was a study in March 2010 that looked at the 1,000 largest U.S. stocks and divided them into five groups based on their volatility. It looked at their returns from 1968 through 2008. And over this 41-year uh, period, the stocks in the group with the lowest volatility performed best, and the stocks in the group with the highest volatility performed worst. The stocks in the group with the lowest volatility saw a $1 investment turn into $53.81, while the group with the highest volatility saw $1 turn into just $7.35. Then when beta coefficient was used instead of total volatility to divide the groups, the results were even more stunning. The group of stocks with the lowest beta coefficient, well, and beta of course is another proxy for volatility and risk, saw a $1 investment turn into $78.86, while the group with the highest betas saw $1 turn into just $4.70. This group lost money when you adjust for inflation. These results turn the conventional wisdom that you have to trade high risk for high return on its head. And the question is, why is this the way it is? Well, proponents of behavioral finance say it's because stock traders are generally risk takers. They're more risk taking than people who don't invest at all. They want big gains, so they go after them by investing in volatile stocks. But the preference they show for these volatile stocks makes them even more volatile and inflates their prices. And in inflating their prices, you depress their returns. By contrast, low volatility stocks are less attractive to risk-taking investors and become undervalued. This inflates their returns. Given that low volatility stocks are undervalued by the market, they are the smarter bet for stock traders, right? Well, not necessarily. That's because this study assumed that transaction costs were zero, and of course they're not. The study required a constant rebalancing of uh, the trader's portfolio for the stock contained within the group to remain among the least volatile or the most volatile or whatever. You had to rebalance the portfolio to make sure that the stock still qualified. What's more, the biggest gains in these low volatility stocks were from the stocks that were the, had the thinnest trading volume. Not only, and in the case of these stocks, not only do you have to worry about trading fees, but also the bid-ask spreads. And these will cut into your winnings and depress your total results too. The bottom line remains the same. Uh, investors show a preference for volatile stocks, and this makes them overvalued. By default, this makes the less volatile stocks undervalued. As a long-term investment strategy, low volatility stocks seem to be the way to go. But that doesn't mean that they're where it's at when it comes to day trading or even swing trading. Here, low volatility stocks are just too slow. But the knowledge that low volatility stocks have outperformed to such a degree is crucial. It shows that when you have a trade that's gone the wrong way, you need to be merciless in exiting it if it's a high volatility stock. And when you make a profit with a high volatility swing trade, you might want to consider taking a portion of your earnings and putting them into a long-term portfolio filled with stocks with sub-1 betas. We hope you've enjoyed this TradingTips.com video newsletter. Thanks for watching and good trading. This Trading Tips video newsletter has been brought to you by Consensus Picks. Each week, Wealth Buyers Consensus Picks software scours through 800 plus financial sources to produce a short list of multi verified stocks. Stocks chosen by more than one of the most accurate stock picking services. Then the Consensus Pick software automatically analyzes the short list of stocks using a series of proprietary filters and it picks the single best stock out of the bunch. The Consensus Pick. Sign up today for Consensus Picks and each week you'll be provided with the ultimate alert, a stock that's been independently selected by multiple stock picking resources. A true Consensus Pick. Visit ConsensusPicks.com to sign up today. View more Trading Tips videos. Visit TradingTips.com. Sign up for our free video newsletters and become a successful trader today.